hey hi guys so today we are going to learn about a very very simple uh, logic which is uh, a very common and a tricky question which is being asked when you appear for selenium and java interviews okay so uh, related to the overloading and overriding concepts right so we'll be going through that but uh, before telling you the question and response to that let me explain you the scenario okay so as you see here we have three classes created right class a class b and test class let's see what we have done in these classes so we have created a withdraw function here and a deposit function here right so i've named this class as class a uh, a withdraw and deposit function with class a withdraw and class a deposit a very simple CSO statements right okay now this class B is inheriting class A class B extends class A right so again we have three functions here saying withdraw deposit and fixed deposit okay now as you see now as you see this withdraw function has no argument passed and even the withdraw function of class a has no argument passed right and class b is a child class of class a what does that mean that simply means that this function is overriding the withdraw function of class a correct this is a concept of inheritance if there is a child class and the child class contains the same function with the same function name with same number name types of arguments this is considered as function overriding so that's what being done here we have done a function overriding so this withdraw function will hide the withdraw functionality of class a from the end users right okay let's move ahead now we have deposit function here but now if we see here this deposit function takes an integer parameter right if we see this deposit function it has no arguments right but if we see this deposit function it has got one integer argument so obviously this would not be considered as a function overriding rather it falls under the overloading concept function with the same name but with different arguments right guys please do not get confused that how can it be overloading because it is in different classes true it is in different classes but this thing is playing the major role here right because this deposit function uh, sorry because this class b is inheriting class a therefore that can be considered as an of in the same class and therefore this deposit function of class b and this deposit function of class a would be considered as overloaded functions okay okay and then we have another function here saying fixed deposit this function is totally unique or totally for class b right it has no relevance with class a functionalities right now the questions which is commonly being asked class a obj is equal to new classes so say i have created a object for class a now guys please do not get confused this part right this is considered as object and this is considered as the class reference and this is the name of the object okay so i have right now created the reference of class sorry i have right now created a reference of class a plus i have created the object of class a so which one functions will i be able to access using obj that could be your first question which all functions should i be able to access using this particular variable right so please understand i have created a reference of class a and i have created the object of class a so you will be able to access only those functions which are available in class a so which functions are there in class a we have withdraw and deposit right so let's see 
I can call deposit function right and I can also call withdraw function correct let's see if I can call fixed deposit function no I cannot right because as we said before we can only call those functions which are declared in class A right okay now let's put the reference of class B and also create an object of class B okay again the same rule applies you will be able to call only those functions which are there in class B but here you need to see that class B is a child class for class A right therefore considering the property of inheritance all the functionalities of class A will be applicable to class B as well as it has inherited all the functionalities okay so let's see which all functionalities it has got access to deposit as we see here okay we have one more deposit right guys if you can see here this deposit is from class A with blank argument and this deposit is from class B with a integer argument right so we have access to both the deposit functions here so let me quickly pass some arguments okay mm, let's see if I have got access to withdraw function yes I have got access to withdraw function but guys if you see here I've got only one withdraw function right because it has same name same arguments and everything so the withdraw function of class B has overridden or we can say it has hidden the implemented functionality of withdraw from class A right so we will only be able to get the withdraw functionality from class B okay and can we call fixed deposit now yes right because this function is declared in class B so yes we can uh, we'll, we'll quickly make a run okay I think there's some issue okay I haven't saved everything it should go I'll quickly make a run okay so we have the output here right so obj dot deposit printed class A deposit obj dot withdraw printed class A withdraw right because we had the reference of class A plus the object of class A it had nothing to do with class B so obviously it has also called the function of class A right therefore we are getting class A withdraw now here obj B dot deposit okay this function has printed class A deposit why because this function is present in class A and here we have the CSO operation as this we have called it using class B's object reason class B is inheriting class A therefore even with class B's object we can call class A's function right okay so I can also call this deposit function with an integer argument I see here in class B deposit for amount thousand correct now objb dot withdraw now this has given me the output for class B withdraw function because right now we are dealing with class B which is a child class of class A right okay and we can also call fixed deposit right okay so now comes the most trickiest part okay declaring the child class object referencing it with the parent class right okay 
now which functions will you be able to access using this particular pattern this is called typecasting okay so which all functions will you be able to access guys this is very 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 important okay so please keep one thing in mind the reference class and the object class these two holds a very very important role any time of the day you will be able just remember one thing irrespective of you are declaring an object in this way or in this way if you are being asked which functions will i be able to access or something like that be very clear you can call only those functions which are declared in the reference class okay this object would have access only to those functions which are declared in this class so which functions are declared in this class withdraw and deposit deposit with no arguments right so i'll be able to call only two functions using this but then the implementation always depends on this class because you have created an object of this right so let's see dot withdraw i can see dot deposit i can see let's check if i can call fixed deposit no right okay so as i said you can call only those functions which are declared in this class but the implementation would be preference will be given to the child class right meaning withdraw function has been overridden in class b right we had withdraw function here and then we had overridden it in class b so yes when we call withdraw function in this particular pattern the output will be from class b deposit function had not been overridden therefore this will be called from class a okay let's see okay you see here guys this function has called class b withdraw function and this one has called class a deposit right so please uh, i guess this video would have helped you and do let me know in comment section if you have any more doubts regarding uh, this particular concept or anything similar thank you thanks a lot bye bye